Expression for the time period of a loaded spring. Let us consider a spring suspended vertically from a rigid support and loaded with a mass M. Let O be the equilibrium position of the mass. If it is now pulled a little down and left, it executes oscillations vertically about the mean position O as shown in the figure. Let OA or OB be the amplitude of oscillations. Let Y be the displacement of the mass at any instant of time T. Then the restoring force F is given by F is equal to minus KY, where K is the force constant of the spring. From Newton's second law of motion, if A is the acceleration of the mass at that instant, F is equal to MA. Equation 4. Comparing equation 3 and 4, we get MA is equal to minus K or A is equal to minus K by M into Y. Equation 5. Since K and M are constants, we can write A is directly proportional to minus Y. That is, acceleration is directly proportional to displacement and it is directed towards the mean position O. Hence, the oscillation of a loaded spring are simple harmonic. Comparing equation 5 with the equation of the acceleration of SHM, A is equal to minus omega square Y. We get omega is equal to square root of K by N. Equation 6. From the known formula, for the time period of oscillation, T is equal to 2 pi by omega and using equation 6, we get T is equal to 2 pi into square root of M by K, equation 7. Thus, the time period of a loaded spring is directly proportional to the square root of the mass M and inversely proportional to the square root of the force constant K of the spring.